So at the time of filming this video, we're mere days away from the launch of AMD's Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, along with brand new motherboards that basically herald the start of the end for DDR4 RAM. But as we've seen repeatedly over the years, just because there's a brand new thing to drool over doesn't mean the old thing is dead. There's still a lot of life left in DDR4, especially since DDR5 and the motherboards that support it are still stupidly expensive, and will probably stay that way for a good long while. Which means that it still makes a lot of sense to review DDR4 kits, and in today's video we'll be doing exactly that, taking a look at a particularly eye-catching kit from Patriot. Which is extra exciting since I've never worked with Patriot gear before. The kit in question is the Viper Steel RGB, and if it performs close to as good as it looks, it could be a prime candidate for your next upgrade. And if you are in the market for an upgrade, then you should definitely check out today's video sponsor, PC Builder. PC Builder is a tool currently available at Computer Mania here in South Africa that massively simplifies the process of building your first gaming PC or upgrading your old workhorse. Just pick the games you want to play, select your budget, and PC Builder does the rest, putting together a system that matches your gaming needs. The PC Builder tool gives you a rough estimate of the performance you'll be able to get out of the system at whatever resolution you're playing at, and it lets you customize the build even further. Don't like the case? Switch it out. Want a motherboard with more USB ports? Grab it. Simple as that. The tool will even let you know if the parts that you want to add aren't compatible with the rest of the build and gives you a list of other parts that are compatible. It'll also help you pick the power supply you need by keeping track of the power demands of each part in the build and it'll even help you pick out the best peripherals to go along with your new system. Once you're happy with the build, PC Builder and Computer Mania will put it all together, install Windows for you at no additional cost and includes a free month of Xbox Game Pass. And they'll even test and benchmark the build to make sure that the system is ready to go as soon as you get your hands on it. All builds come standard with a two year warranty, almost double compared to its competition. And on top of that, each component in the system is also still covered by their manufacturer warranties, which is dope. If any of that sounds good to you, check out the PC Builder tool at Computer Mania right now using the link in the description. Or if you wanna pick up the Patriot Viper Steel RGB kit, or anything else for that matter, do it at Takelot, also link down below the like button. Now, Patriot's Viper Steel RGB series comes in a variety of flavors, with speeds ranging from 3200 all the way up to 4133 MHz, and with timings of CL16 up to 20. The kit we'll be working with includes two 16GB modules with a rated speed of 3600 MHz and CL20 timings. Now, 3600 MHz has proven to be more than enough to get the most out of current gen systems, but I do worry that the higher latency could hold the kit back a little. But we'll find out soon enough. Price, on the other hand, is something that's definitely not holding the kit back. At $110, this particular kit easily undercuts the competition, including two of my favorite kits from Corsair and G-Skill. The Viper Steel RGB kit comes in at $13 cheaper than the Vengeance RGB Pro, even with it being on sale at the time of filming, and $20 less than the Trident Z Neo kit. Now, Granted, both of those kits have higher CL18 timings, but still, that's some disruptive pricing right there. It's also pretty disruptive in the looks department. As you may have gathered already, I'm an avid enjoyer of RGB on RAM, and on everything else for that matter, so I'm always on the lookout for a new kit to wear the RGB RAM crown. And this is definitely a contender. The modules look awesome. Black PCB, black aluminum heat spreaders, a golden snake logos on either side of it, giving kind of like a Cobra Kai vibe, all topped off with an aggressive looking light bar complete with Viper branding, chef's kiss. The modules feel really solid thanks to the brushed metal on the heat spreaders, and I think the package as a whole exudes premium energy. The modules are tall boys, coming in around 47 millimeters high, and for some reason, they just make every other module I own look kind of out of place by comparison. While this does add to their badass look quite a bit, it does unfortunately make them hard to work with. At least if you drop them into a smallish case like my Meshify C with a radiator mounted on the top. It might also be slightly too tall to pair with some of the bigger CPU air coolers out there, but hey. Adding to that tallness is the light bar on top of the modules, complete with RGB snake fangs, and I'm happy to report that I'm not asking for any anti venom Even though each module only features five LEDs, the bar diffuses the light evenly across the entire thing, making it look like there are way more LEDs than there actually are, and making it so that there are no perceptible hotspots. 
They also go much brighter than I'd expect from a kit with only five LEDs, though I would personally like it if there were actually a couple more LEDs tossed in just to up the brightness a little bit. As for controlling those lights, Patriot makes it pretty simple. Just use the lighting software you're already using. The modules are compatible with all the big boys like Asus's Aura, MSI's Mystic Light, Azrox Polychrome, and Gigabyte's RGB Fusion. I recently started using Signal RGB for all my lighting, and the modules fell in line perfectly. And the overall effect is phenomenal. I mean, just look at it. It's gorgeous. But let's not get too hung up on looks, even though I really, really want to, and move on to what really matters here. Performance. Our test bench for this round of benchmarking includes AMD's Ryzen 7 5800X and MSI's RTX 3070 Gaming X Trio, both running at stock clocks and with resizable bar enabled. I benchmarked the kit running at its rated speed of 3600MHz with CL20 timings, and again after applying a mild overclock boosting clock speed to 3800MHz. I was also able to tighten timings a little to CL18, which was stable after boosting the voltage to 1.42V. Up against the Viper Steel RGB is a kit from Crucial running at a slower 3200 MHz, but with much tighter CL16 timings. Oh, and all the tests were run with the rest of the clocks running in a 1 to 1 configuration. So, let's get into it. Now, as more and more numbers start like popping up, it should become clear that things didn't turn out quite as expected. I knew going into this that the Viper Steel RGB would struggle a little because of its comparatively loose timings, but I figured the higher clock speed would make up for most of that. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be the case here. Whether we're looking at productivity or gaming benchmarks, the Viper Steel RGB running at stock clocks and timings falls well behind the kit from Crucial, and in some benchmarks, the margin is very significant indeed. Luckily, upping the kit's speed to 3800 MHz and tightening timings to CL18 resulted in a very healthy performance uplift, to a point where the gap between the kits almost maybe sort of becomes negligible in most cases. Negligible. Even tighter timings would have probably put the Viper Steel RGB at the same level of the Crucial kit, or due to the higher clock speed would have like seen it dominating its competition outright. But unfortunately, no matter how much voltage I pushed through it, or how carefully I dialed in my timings, I wasn't able to get this kit to run at a stable CL16. But I'm not all that experienced with RAM overclocking, so if you are, then you'll undoubtedly get a heck of a lot more out of this kit than I did. Now this is usually where I give you some thermal performance numbers, but no matter what software I used, I couldn't get the readings for it to show up in like any of them. But hey, those big aluminium heat spreaders aren't just for looks, and at least from what my skin reports, the modules don't get hot at all. So. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so with all that said and done, it's probably time to like uh, draw some kind of conclusion here. Now, while my first experience with a Patriot product was a pretty good one, and I look forward to checking out some of their other gear, I can't wholeheartedly recommend this particular kit. It won a lot of points for me in the looks department and a heck of a lot more due to its great price point, but I just can't overlook those loose timings. Yes, with competent manual overclocking, you could get higher results than I was able to get, but I'm betting that most of the people buying this kit will just slap on an XMP profile and call it a day. And as the numbers show, doing that might not even get you the same performance as a slower and even cheaper kit, even if said kit doesn't look nearly as good. That being said, if you can find the Viper Steel RGB kits with like the lower latencies selling for around the same price as this one, then absolutely go for it. And that wraps up for this one. I have to go prep for that Ryzen launch, so uh, stick around for those videos. And if you're in South Africa, and even if you're not, and you wanna put together a system with basically zero frustration, do it at Computer Mania via PC Builder linked in the description, or grab whatever you need at TakeLot, also linked down below. And yeah, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.